हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अर्पिता करवा डॉट कॉम इंडियाज फाइनेस्ट ऑनलाइन कोचिंग फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टुडे विल बी कवरिंग अ नॉवल अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन इन फैक्ट एंड इट इज कॉल्ड मॉबी डेक एंड इट्स रिटन बाय हर्मन मेलविल नाउ फ्रेंड्स द ओपनिंग लाइन ऑफ द वर्क इज कॉल्ड कॉल मी इशमाइल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट कैप्टन अहाब फॉल्स फॉर हिज प्राइड एंड द नेम ऑफ द बोर्ड दैट रेस्क्यूज इशमाइल इज रेचल सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर मतलब एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव से दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Now friends Ishmael is a narrator of the story he was a school teacher and now he is a sailor now this guy wants to go whale hunting though he had done a lot of sailing but he had not gone whale hunting before so he goes to Massachusetts and stays in an inn which was very crowded there he meets Quigg who has a lot of tattoos on his body and he used to catch whales with a spear Ishmael was afraid of him initially but in the morning They both left for Nantucket Island and later became friends. Ishmael noticed that uh, Quigg is very kind in nature. Now they reach near a ship named Pequod and there they meet two guys, Peleg and Bildad. They both tell Ishmael and Quigg that this ship's owner is Ahab, who is a madman. So friends, Ahab is not there for now and these guys are just discussing him. Ishmael gets to know that Ahab's leg was bitten by a stubborn whale named Moby Dick. Now this is a white colored dangerous whale even after listening to all these frightening stories Ishmael and Quigg decide to go whale hunting on Christmas with Ahab and his men Now before leaving a guy named Elijah makes a prophecy that the journey is going to be dangerous Now Ishmael is introduced to whale hunting on this ship and he also meets Starbuck, Flask and Stub. These three are very good whale hunters and now Ahab comes to the terrace of the ship. This is the first time he enters the story. He has an artificial leg and says they have a normal ship but it's a special mission. He said they need to kill Moby Dick. Ahab tells everybody that whoever sees that white whale first, he will give him a gold coin. Now Starbuck says that Ahab is not here for some kind of a revenge rather he has come for some profit Ahab had only one mission in life which was to kill Moby Dick who took his leg Now in the sea their ship meets a lot of other ships some of them were experienced and some were accidental some faced storms some faced Moby Dick also so one of those ships was named Town Ho which faced Moby Dick Now guys their ship meets other ships and a major part of the novel goes into this So this ship reaches the Indian and Pacific Ocean and during this journey they catch many whales but Ahab's life mission was to kill Moby Dick only. Now there was a carpenter on Ahab's ship and Ahab asked him to make a new leg for him as the old one was distorted. So Quigg thought he was dying so he asked the carpenter to make a coffin for him. Though he did not die and he got better afterwards. Now the coffin was left of no use but guys it will be used later in the story. Now let's move ahead. So guys, Ahab takes a help of five people to kill Moby Dick. Out of the five, their leader is named Fedala, and he's a very dangerous man. So all these five people are from an unnamed country in Asia and have come to the Pequod ship to help Ahab kill Moby Dick. So Fedala is a devilish type of man, and he would not stop until he catches Moby Dick. They roam around Africa and finally reach Japan. And during the journey, they meet a lot of ships. They somehow sense that Moby Dick is nearby. So Ahab was the first person who saw Moby Dick and for the next 3 days they chase Moby Dick. Now guys there is an iron smith on the ship and Ahab asks him to make a new fish hunting spear. Now Ahab tries to hit Moby Dick with that spear but he misses and it hits a small boat nearby. The boat flips and all the people in that small boat safely come to the ship. The second time when Ahab tries to kill the whale this time Fedala gets caught and he falls into the water.
So guys, when Ahab tried for the third time, Starbuck warned Ahab that they need to leave this mad mission or else they all will die. But Ahab doesn't listen to him and he hits Moby Dick with the spear. But this time, Ahab himself gets tangled in the rope attached to the spear. He gets hanged there and dies. Now guys, after this, Moby Dick hits the ship and the ship sinks. So everybody dies except for Ishmael. So you might be wondering how he did not die. Well, Ishmael uses the coffin. So it was originally made for Kukeg, as I already told you. He used that coffin to float. As I told you, they meet many ships during this journey. One of those ships is Rachel and it saves his life. So he does not drown in the water and later narrates the story. And that's how this novel ends. Now some facts and quotes for you friends. Uh, firstly, the novel's plot was partly based on the story of the whale ship Essex, which was sunk by a sperm whale in 1820. The white whale, Moby Dick, is often interpreted as a symbol of nature's power, the unknowable and humanity's struggle against forces beyond its control. So friends, some important lines from the work include, I know not all that may be coming, but be it what it will, I'll go to it laughing. It is not down on any map. True places never are. And third is better to sleep with a sober cannibal than a drunk Christian. So that will be all for this lecture friends. We'll meet soon in the next lecture. Until the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.